In this video, we're once again beating Transport Fever 2, but this time, vehicles are completely random. I'm sure we're going to have some absolutely crazy designs here. This video is sponsored by Fiverr, but more of that later in the video. So let's get started then. We've got 50 million in the bank. We can get rid of this menu now. The first thing's first, let's sort out some basic lines that connect all these towns up together. This should be really easy. So now all the towns are connected, we're going to need some vehicles of course. Let's set up our hub in Nantwich and we can get a nice little depot going. And here's the fun bit. Well I've got every single type of vehicle on this website under different categories and let's spin this wheel and find out which one we're going to get. Okay, the first vehicle of the day is going to be the Chevy C60, okay. Oh yeah, we got the prison bus. Okay, I've got a basic connection with a bus route going through all of these towns here. And that gets us going a little bit. So usually our main hub will be in the center of the map. And Nantwich is a really good spot for this because it's pretty much central and it's got a lot of stuff around it. So Nantwich is wanting bricks and food. Okay, so I can see a little route forming here. This could work with a train. Let's get one in. And of course, now we need a train. Let's grab one. Here we go. It is the GG1. Pretty decent train, but it's going to need some electrification on these tracks because it is electric. It's not the greatest train for this route. It's definitely not, but uh, it'll work. Next up. Let's just grab some road vehicles and bring the cooked bread over to this town, Nantwich, because the town's getting pretty big. It's not really an opportunistic spot for a train station. Lovely. Now that's in, let's grab some vehicles. Please don't be a horse and cart. Please don't be a horse and cart. What we're going to get, it's going to be the Studebaker tank. Ah, <laughs> that's an issue. We'll get 10 of these and we're going to have to just put them on the line because you get what you're given, I'm afraid, even though it doesn't carry the resource that we want. So 10, we're going to have to just pay for the maintenance for, but they're never actually going to do anything for us. Sad times. Let's re-roll. And it's going to be the Gaz3307 dump truck. Oh my god, once again, we're getting so unlucky here. This truck also does not carry the resource we need. Let's buy 10, chuck it on the line and re-roll. All right, once again, come on. Give us something that can carry bread, please. Not a fuel truck. Not a fuel truck. It is a horse and cart. <laughs> the irony saying I didn't want that before. I mean, now we actually need this one because it actually carries what we want to carry. All right, 10 of those. Stick them on there. We can finally make some money. Although the traffic is going to be a nightmare. Let's just zoom in on a, a slower speed here. Oh, no. They're so old. There's going to be... A, I'm telling you, there's going to be so long tailbacks. They're going to go on forever. <laughs> All right, so we spotted a problem. If we get a vehicle like this, it's going to cause huge traffic. So I think we're going to have to prioritize trains from this point. Oh, no. Anyway, regardless, we've got to drop off for the bread now. That's good. It looks like a Spartia needs bread, but it's a quite a distance away. So let's use a train. Bit of an awkward spot, that, isn't it? But we will work with it. We'll have to do a little loop around, I think. Definitely do not copy what I'm doing. This is not advice of how to play the game at all. It's just a fun thing. If I was doing this properly, I would make a really good station instead of placing two. Bad idea doing two, by the way, guys. Bad idea. And let's grab a random train. Here we go. Okay, please do not give me a D13. I hate that train. And do not give me a Shinkansen or a multiple unit either while you're at it. We've got the Mogul, is that? Or is it going to be the PLM? PLM! Right, the PLM. Decent train. Right, that's done. Boom. Chuck it on. And don't you guys go anywhere because this is going to get absolutely insane by the end of this episode. There's going to be trains flying everywhere from all over the ages. It looks like we can get a cool line through here. We've got a forest, we've got a sawmill, and we've got a machines factory. However, the traffic's terrible on this road, so we might have to upgrade this to a bit of a highway. I'm going to do a terrible job of plugging this into the city. Never do this, by the way. Never ever bring a highway straight into a city road like that. Terrible, but... I'm not here for the looks, I'm not here for it, <laughs> how it works. I'm just here so I get a bit of uh, relief on this tiny little country road. Right, that's looking a bit better now. We've got a little highway going, fantastic. And do you know what we'll do as well? We'll give them bus lanes, and that means that the cars aren't going to get stuck behind these horses because the horses could use the bus lanes. It's okay, guys. Feel free to overtake. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. I'll finish this route off. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Please, please, please give me something that can carry logs. Please, come on. Dump. I don't think it can carry logs. Tank car, no! <laughs> the tank car definitely can't carry logs. These things are expensive as well. Oh, no. Okay, check that answer that. Come on. Come on. Oh, it is the... Are you kidding me? You're actually taking a piss. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Europe flatbed. European flatbed, horse and car. Can that carry logs? I might actually be able to. Let's find out. European flatbed. Can carry logs. Yes. Okay, brilliant. Right, we'll get 10 of them. Boom. I actually cannot believe that I am cheering on a horse and cart. All right, now these refined wood have got to go over to this machines factory. So let's get another line. And here we go. Another one in three, two, one. Let's spin. 
Oh, maybe. That could be good. K100 E steak. That sounds very woody. That's a wood vehicle. Carries logs and timber. Look at that. Right, 10 of these. Boom, 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 boom. I think we should complete Nantwich's demand. So it wants bricks. We've already done bread. And I've seen a little factory over here. Look at this materials plant. And there's also some stone up here. Brilliant. We probably best off using a truck, but I really can't be bothered to construct roads. And I want to use trains because, let's be honest, that's what we're here for if we're playing Transport Fever 2. Lines in, grab a depot. Let me just make this clear as well. This is not the best way at all in any shape or form to do a railway. The best way is to reuse as much track as possible and only use a few depots. Not a depot for each route. New vehicle, let's get it. Do not be a multiple unit, I swear. If this is like the Speed Ants Express or something, I'm going to be so annoyed. It is... The GP9. That is perfect. The GP9 is is a is is literally built for this job. Wow. Okay, that's lucky. Shall I play risky and go for another one as well? Because we might need a bit of extra horsepower to get up that big hill. You see, on the one hand, I could get another train like the GP9 to give it some extra power, but on the other hand, I might get something terrible and it might hamper the GP9. This is like flipping a coin for for double or nothing. All right, here we go. Should we do it? <laughs> oh, it's risky. Here we go. Ready? Come on, please, something good, something good, something good, something good. Class F. Oh, Mogul. Mogul's okay. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's worse than the GP9, but it'll do. It does limit us, however, to 75 kilometers an hour, which is not ideal, but it'll, it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. At least we've got the extra horsepower. That's what I'm happy about. Oh, there it is. This has been such a silly video and I love it. It's brilliant. <laughs> we will also drop these bricks off at Sohan, but first let's get a train route over to Nantwitz to drop these off just to complete our little side quest. Ah, now's the issue. The sound's quite big. So which side of the town wants what? Let's see. You want brick on this side. Of course you do. Inside the mountain. Brilliant. That's going to be a fun one right there. That's a doozy. Right. So we could slide one in just there. It might be expensive. I think that's the best option. Plop that in there, brilliant, okay. This is now gonna have to come across the river. Oh no, not signals, all right. <laughs> this is the first signal, everyone. Who would have thought that it's gonna be a crossover? Definitely me. <laughs> Such a chaotic way of building, I love it. Just plonk everything everywhere. These things are nightmares, I <laughs> they're so bad, these crossovers. So obviously placing everything randomly is not the best way to do things and it makes this map run horribly inefficiently, but guess what? I'm actually pretty good at this game. I play just a little bit. So using my vast knowledge, I've got a new map and city design Fiverr page, baby! Now you should definitely check this out because it will really benefit you if you don't know how to city plan properly as one of the most common problems people have in this game is traffic, whether that be train or cars, and I can fix that for you. So click the first link in the description or pin comment and as an extra massive bonus, everything on that is half price right now for the first 10 people and you're also supporting a small content creator. So if you need some help with your cities or map, get on there and be the first. That's the first link in the description and pin comment and back to this mess. <laughs> Alright ladies and gents, next train on the agenda. Here it is. Come on. Come on. Something good. We don't want the D13. We don't want... Okay, D13 is gone. This is going to be the Mikado. Actually a good train. Amazing. Alright, one Mikado my good sir. Out it comes, our little Mikado. Oh, it's brilliant. That's like a little toy train set. Of course, we also need to drop this stuff off in this town. It's time for a road vehicle this time. Okay, come on. Something good, something good. Come on. Please not a tank truck. Please not a tank truck. It is. Uh, it's, it's not great. It's a horse and cart. It will do though. It will do. It will suffice. Boom. Ten of those and stick those onto brick to sew. Aw, look at these cute things. You see, I would tram this up, but it's going to be a nightmare. In fact, the problem is, I could tram everything up, right? And it would look amazing if we get the right trams. It's like a 25% chance you'll get a tram that's so slow it makes a load of traffic. So... I'm not sure if it's worth it, but on the other hand, trams do decrease the amount of cars on the road. You know what? Let's do it for this city and, and give it a little try, shall we? Okay, they're all here. Three, two, one, spin. Please give me something. Good. Please give me something. Good. It's gonna be the Ivan. Yes, the Ivan's okay. I like the Ivan. It's a little bit on the slow side, but it's better than a horse, so that'll do. There's so many people waiting for a bus here, no one can get on the tram. So we're gonna upgrade these buses, and to do that, we're gonna need some more buses, of course. Let's get a random one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that might have been a mistake. I've made a severe and continuous <laughs> lapse in my judgment. That's not good. Thank you, thank you Confetti. Thanks website. Yep, celebration right now. All right, well, if we had bad traffic before, it's it's good. It's not gonna work, is it, the traffic now? Oh dear, oh no. Perhaps this um, upgrade was a bad idea, huh? <laughs> 
Oh no, just that one horse has caused all that. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh dear. This save's going to be complete gridlock by the time we're finished with it. Right, I'm going to make a lot more progress now. We're going to skip ahead and we're going to see what the future brings. I'm definitely going to get some stinkers, but I'm probably going to get some good ones as well. All right, it's been a minute. <laughs> Stuff's happened. It's a little bit hectic. Quite, quite a few bits and bobs are going on here. I've not quite finished the whole map. What I'll do is I'll show you around what I've done about halfway, which is where we are now. And then I'll cut to the end product. And I'm sure this is going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm only halfway in and like there's no, none of this stuff's developed over here. And the traffic is already absolute chaos. I mean, what is this here? It's like a little horse and cart and a massive traffic jam. Comment horse discrimination if you made it this far. <laughs> but I managed to do some alright stuff. I mean, the traffic's not terrible. It's okay for what, considering we have... Uh, <laughs> So we've got a few trains, these are all from the random wheel spinner. Uh, let's go to this one here, this one uh, is a steam train and a diesel train. And these are carrying steel to the steel factory, or from the steel factory. And there's all sorts going on over here. <laughs> so many different types of vehicles coming in and out. You can tell I was naming them all neatly and then I just completely gave up here. <laughs> How are we on the motorway scene? You know, not too bad. I built a few little highways here and there. Oh, oh okay, <laughs> maybe not, never mind. <laughs> Oh dear, the traffic is pretty immense. It's not great. Cool little overpass I managed to get going here though. This does its job pretty well. And there's a really cool little junction down here as well. Maybe even dystopian-esque. And then down here we got the EP5, carrying a bit of fuel. And then this- oh no! Oh, I forgot about this one. I had a nightmare with this one, I got so unlucky. We got the ED9 as a random vehicle, which is absolutely not what I wanted. <laughs> so we have a passenger train that's carrying fuel. Oh no. Okay, let's finish this absolute mess. And here's the final train, which is a good train to end on actually. This is probably the best train in the game. But um, that's it. Let's have a look around this crazy map. So let's start off by opening the line manager. <laughs> what is going on here? I uh, I didn't do much planning. There is a central main line, as you can see down here. There's a little bit of action going on. Uh, so it, there's kind of a main line, but for the most part, I just kind of made a direct route straight there. There's a lot of trucks just here, there and everywhere. But let's have a look at some of these random train consists because there's some really crazy ones. It looks like a funny one's coming up here. It's a passenger train. Oh wait, no. <laughs> it's not. It's a, it's a stone train. I actually took the liberty of, of looking up some Chinese to try and learn the train's name. I, I it's, People call it the Fuk, Fuk Sim Hao. I think it's pronounced Fushi Hao. How? I, I don't know. Maybe it's, someone who's Chinese can correct me in the comments there. <laughs> Another fantastic addition around here somewhere, I think this is it, is the Intercity 125 featuring coal. <laughs> this train nearly has as much capacity for passengers as it actually does for cargo, and it's not even a passenger train. By the way, this map is ready to play if you want to mess around with it. Just press the subscribe button and check out the link in the description. So this is the Hiawatha, thank you you lot in the comments for absolutely taking the piss out of me in the last video because I got the <laughs> pronunciation wrong. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're pulling some Chinese cars, I believe. Very uh, interesting sight if you're in America, I'm sure. And of course, everyone's favourite train, the six-wheeler, <laughs> is included. <laughs> Awful train. It's so bad. Look at this. 18, 17, 16 on the slightest incline. I got so unlucky with this one. I did do some lane mathematics over here. You can probably tell this is not the best setup ever. Oh dear, what is this junction? Um, <laughs> but uh, most of this is just AI builds, to be honest. You can see I've added some bus lanes and stuff just to try and uh, get my vehicles through my horse and carts, or even better, stop the horse and carts slowing the traffic down. Um, but yeah, most of this is just AI builds, so there's a lot of crazy shenanigans going on here, which is uh, not the best design in the world. But I tried to fix it where I could, because this is sort of a main pathway for a lot of traffic. And I think that some of these junctions solve a lot of traffic issues. This used to be really bad, like this was all backed up, this was all backed up. Every road facing this junction was completely backed up right over here, for example. Um, and it still is to a degree, <laughs> it still is a little bit, um, but it's not so bad. It was much, much worse. I mean, compare that to what the AI did at the end of this road, it's an actual nightmare. And actually, it's a really common mistake to just build highways between cities but not properly manage them. And it leads to a lot of traffic problems. And if you have this problem, or if you're just starting out in Transport Fever 2 and you want in the late game yet, you definitely want to check out this video which shows you how to get the best lane management for the best traffic flow.